guys, this is Svetlana and Bella Conrad with you. Uh, okay, so another interesting question that I got is actually a teenager, you know, who asked that question. I'm actually very... Teenagers are very cool. You have sometimes a very interesting perspective, you know, and very interesting questions. And the question was about, is ballet a uh, group uh, competitive sport or like sport or it's an uh, individual <sighs> well the honest question is both <laughs> it's a competition in in the team and uh, between the um, and an individual you know so it's it's kind of weird you know that what i have noticed in general you know it's, it's like you work as a group to create a ballet so you have work as a group of dancers all of you right just dancers then you have the choreographers the teachers the repeat re, re, repetitors then you have musicians so and then you have the stage workers and all that so it is a group you know of people that make it happen for us to see it you know and yet within this group there is a competition between individuals and mostly it's who will get the, the topper spot um so yes i mean it's it's a very good question but it's very very hard to explain to sometimes to kids so it's it's not just a competitive like a sport team like one football team versus another football team and that's what we're doing no and or it's not like one um race car driver versus another race car, race car driver and they compete no it's a it's a it's a it's a group and individual it's all it's both at the same time and it's yeah, to create a little bit different dynamic and I don't know, I mean, when the kids are asking those kind of a question, it's a very good question to ask. And the problem is for adults, it's very hard to answer. And the kids normally, they're asking it from the perspective, um, well, look, I have a friend and we're both going into ballet and they just don't want to be not friends anymore when they finished ballet, right? Or when they get into a group, because I guess that is the question. But but if you really think about it, this is how life is. You know, we all start at the same place, you know, go to school, and some of us will become friends and, and then not friends because some of us gain more opportunities or less opportunities or get lucky or not. I mean, it depends on the situation. And then because of the thing that you're doing together now, you liked it together because you came in together. And now when you're graduating, you're not together anymore. You know, so now you're competitors. It is life. It's a tough question, but it's a very, very good question. You know, so if the question is, can you maintain the relationship and friendship with that it's a hard it's a hard uh, question and it's very hard to answer that it, it all depends depends with what people you are there if they you know if you can accept that we, for example they are better than you and they that's why they got in, you know the position and, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 really hard question to answer. It cannot be just answer yes or no. It's it's a complicated answer. You know. I mean, I've seen a lot of kids in in um, let's just say Vaganova Academy where they feel like they're friends, but yet in the same time they're competitors. Um, mostly, you can see that very clearly when it's uh, when it's a Russian students and foreign students are in the same group. Um, look, I can tell you one of the examples. Well, when Eric was uh, doing the choreography in, in Vagan um, in Bolsha Academy, um, so there is a here I can show you the footage where he was working with a foreign student. Uh, so she's a Korean girl, uh, Dayona. She is a principal dancer in Oklahoma Ballet. Uh, well, I didn't know. I found out about her only here, but 
you know, I'm talking about some years ago before. So here it is, she, she's in the academy. And um, so I remember I was sitting there and she was asking that she also needed a choreographer because she wanted to go to, comp to a competition, the perm competition with the rest of the Russian girls there. And she was applying, um, filling out the forms. And um, it was like this, it was, so we were in the room, just, you know, there were girls sitting there and her, and uh, so they were talking to each other about they're going to competition, you know, like normally. Uh, and uh, it was a break between classes. And, and so, and I remember like when when they were sitting there, and so Dayon, the foreign student, she said, oh, girls, because they kind of like, you look like they like each other and they even, you know, speak English to her. She speaks English to them and a little bit of a Russian. It was like a kind of back and forth on different languages. Um, and, uh, and so then she says, like, well, I also want to go to competition with you girls, you know, so can you help me out to fill out the application so I can go and apply? The application needs to be filled out in the Russian language. And, uh, you know, the, the, the thing is just, I was sitting like kind of like behind them. They were sitting in a little circle in front of me. And the girls were like, no, 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 we can't help you. We can't, you know, we don't know, you know, we didn't fill out applications. They just made up excuses why they don't want to help her out with that. And so there was some kind of a, like a little bit not, you know, some kind of a weird vibe going on. And then like almost like they don't want her to be in there and then just, oh, I need to go, oh, it's time for my class, ran away. Okay. And I saw her and she's sitting there as like, because she really was struggling because when you see the Russian forms of applying for something, <laughs> it's a lot of words. It's a lot of, it's not the same like here in the United States. Your forms are way more clear and you can understand what you want. When you fill out the Russian forms, oh my God, you know, it's no, you know, so that's why you can see why she was so frustrated. And and I remember like I look at her, it's like and I said, so the girls don't want to help you? Why? Because I wasn't really aware of it that there is a competition between them also, you know, and uh, that's you know, they're friends but they're competitors in the same time. And and it's just like, yeah, and they don't want to help me. And I said, come on, let me give it, give it to me. So I took her, all of her forms. I said, come on, let me help you. I will help you. So I filled out for her. And the thing is just, you know, you, you, you know, it, it's hard to explain, but she had, like, she started crying from that somebody actually helps help her out because she felt like nobody wants to understand how hard it is for her to look at this and she it's so foreign to her and she doesn't understand and and I said okay let me give it to me and I took it from her and I filled out for her so let's just send it and she said like but here is this problem and she's like no 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 you don't understand those things not needed because again well they it's a competition right the girls want to get rid of her, so they will give her a little bit of wrong information so that mm, that's the reason why she didn't go through, you know. So I guess that's all normal things, you know. And I explained, no, 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 you reading it wrong, you, you, you don't need this and that and that and that. And I talked to her about it, it's like, this is what you actually need to do, so this, this, this and this, here's where we filled out that, mm -hmm. now go to competition. And then now you can go. And then and that's when she says, like, well, I also need the choreographer. And she said, I would like Eric to choreograph. I said, sure, why not? Why not? So, and they started to work together and do the choreography. And I remember the girls were like constantly walking by. I said, like, so he choreographed on her too now? Mm -hmm. You know, I said, yes, he does. And he must, you know, what's the difference? It's, it's not like a fair competition in life exists, you know? So yes, and and then you can see the dynamic difference between uh, girls in the academy, how they were reacting to each other, and to if another teacher is involved or a choreographer, there's different attention. For example, with Dayon, if you see in the footage, for example, the only thing you can see like she was she was always concerned about how she looks. And she always felt like that she doesn't look the same way as the Russian girls look, look like that all tall and skinny and long, uh, elongated external you know, the legs and arms and all that. So she always felt 
like self-conscious about herself and you can see like she's always covered herself with uh, a lot of layers of clothes that will not see how she looks under it and I remember I told uh, and when they will be again choreographing and Eric will say oh here's this mistake in your place and let me correct it and she was always asking him how do you see that you know I have a lot of clothes on me most of the time teachers will say remove your clothes so I can see and he's like well, you can keep the clothes as much as you want, even more clothes better, because actually it will give away even more. Because clothes gives away a lot of imperfections, even so people think that it covers it. Actually, it does give it away, you know, too. It depends what kind of clothes we're talking about here. When it's a lot of layers on the dancers, you definitely can, they can it gives away, you know. So, yes, that's what, um, that's one of the examples. And I understand when teenagers ask those questions and this I guess was my attempt to answer them to answer that question with a little bit of example because it is a very interesting art you know ballet is interesting in the way that it can be very friendly and yet in the same time very be competitive between each other when we're talking about something where it's involved for one individual to do something so yes i mean there are a lot of things happening um, in the ballet community and when you see it you know like without understanding why it's happening you can see it's very cruel or heartbreaking but when you understand the whole perspective and how it's done and how much work is involved in there yes you can understand why is it uh, why it's such a psychologically hard on um, girls especially well wow. you know so yes I mean I guess um, I've seen a lot of things happening in on the psychological level that involves and you know I, I can see why certain people at the end of their career they feel most of the time hate towards the ballet that's like number one thing when you read any kind of um, articles or any kind of um, dance psychology that's what the only thing that they will tell you i guess now that uh, at the end of their career they always feel uh, hate towards it only if it even if it wasn't the end of the career but they decided to leave the, earlier it's always hate um and i guess that's why people were saying in art is like it's a ballet, it's a love-hate relationship. You know, nobody really explains what kind of a love there and what kind of a hate is there. But when you really start looking into it and going through it yourself, a lot of things might become more clear and makes more sense, and you understand why. And my honest opinion uh when i feel when people ask me those kind of questions i would say like if you don't you know well life is in general will damage you emotionally but if you don't have a good training with it to back you up and help you out then it definitely will damage you even more so yes i mean i guess i didn't want to finish go with this podcast so dark this way but it is a lot of us is truth in there and like it's 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 really hard to just talk about it without the examples um but when i do have, see examples it's, it's, that's what i'm trying to kind of put in the perspective so people will understand that there is a lot of you know psychological problems in ballet and yes and becomes somehow dependable you know like it's it, it 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 is really it's an art that you know that it's a, you know it's a cruel art but in the same time it's very lovable art and um yeah i mean if you listen to any kind of a interview with soviet dancers they all say you know, like this you know it's you it's hard and it's only made for i mean russians always say that it's only for special people but you know, it's hard it's hard psychologically but yes there are a lot of guidance need to be done especially to teenagers girls to help them out through this um well 
all thing. But the most, but the, the lack of training hurts even more, you know, than the psychological. Because you have a psychological trauma and then you have lack of training and then it all wraps up and it becomes this huge bubble where you feel very, very not good about yourself. That's what mostly I've noticed for girls is that. So yeah, that is a sad note to it, but it is a painful but truthful answer, I guess, as one of the truth truthful examples that I can show. Mm -hmm. There's more, obviously, but that is one.